Hello, my name is Christy Lukasiak. Welcome back to my channel. Today my video is a little different than the content that you are used to from me because I am embarking on a whole new project in my life and that is my New Orleans project. So here's the story. Last week I told you in my video, if you missed it, definitely go back and check it out. But we bought a 200 year old Creole cottage in New Orleans that I am turning into the ultimate girls get away the ultimate when you see the plans i have for this place oh i cannot wait to take you on this journey because this is just not like a renovation project this is kind of like renovating an old building which i'm gonna definitely keep like some of the really cool historical stuff about it each room is a nod to a famous part of the city because i like history and when i am traveling that's one of the things i like to do with my kids is i like to teach them about where i am so i thought it would be kind of a fun idea to theme each room after a famous place in New Orleans so that like the kitchen will be the beignet cafe. We have Madame LaLaurie's or LaLaurie's bedroom, which is like a super haunted house in New Orleans. The backyard's gonna be the vampire courtyard. So lots of really different cool plans. And then part of this house is going to be our own personal like owner suite so that when we wanna come down, that part we will not rent out, that will just be ours. But the other side, once it's all done, of course, I'm going to rent it. So get ready to go to New Orleans because I have the perfect place for you. So I'm going to take you on a tour. I'm going to show you everything. It's very scary right now, but rest assured, it's going to be fab. Okay, let me show you around. All right, so this is going to be the front side of the rental. Wait until you see. It takes me four years to try to open these because I don't quite know. Then we have, you have to pull this. Isn't that kind of cool though? Love. So original doors, which is wild to consider these doors are 200 years old. Here we go. Okay, so this is actually going to be a bedroom. This is gonna be, this side is gonna be a bedroom. Oh, you can see, I already have stuff up. So this is gonna be, this room is gonna be inspired by the LaLaurie Mansion, which is a very famous and scary haunted place in New Orleans. So we're doing this as this side, the LaLaurie Mansion. And then over here, I have a really fun idea of something I'm gonna do like in this little nook and we're gonna divide it with a curtain or some cool iron work from a salvage yard. Now this, dear God, I have no idea, but this is a kitchen and it has a loft up there. I toyed with the idea of how I could work with this loft, but honestly, drunk people in a loft seems dangerous. And then this is, oh God, this is a kitchen, but this is actually gonna be turned into a bathroom with a 12 foot ceiling, which is pretty cool, I think. And then, oh God, this bathroom. Everything I feel like I'm like, oh God. So this bathroom is the worst. Everything is getting ripped out of here. You can see my tile, my marble tile, and I've been playing with colors. So I think we're gonna move the door over a little bit so that there's more space. And we might actually raise this ceiling because I'm not gonna use that. So we could have two bathrooms with really big ceilings, which I think would be kind of cool. And then over here, this is going to be the bayou room which I think is fun. I have some really fun ideas to make this look a little bit like Princess Tiana's Bayou, but not, if that makes sense. Moldings going in here. I will keep the fans. I'll probably change the fan, but I'm gonna keep fans in the bedrooms only because it's New Orleans and it's so damn hot. Oh, and then through there is where it's gonna connect to the back apartment and become one big unit. So love, love, love. Like I love the like history of this place. I think it's cool. 200 years old. All right, now then on this other side here, we're gonna go outside. I like the old bricks. We're gonna relay them so they're not a danger. And I just realized that this side doesn't have electricity either. So I need to get on the call or get on a phone call with the electrician. But this is gonna be my owner's suite, so to speak. The, so this will be the side that my family stays in when we're here. Cool old fireplace. Again, you have those tall, tall windows. There's my Noah sign. And then this whole wall's getting knocked out to make an open kitchen. So we'll have like a little peninsula here so that we can have like a breakfast nook. But you'll be able to see 
into the kitchen. I have paint everywhere. <laughs> I have paint colors up. So then this kitchen will all be redone. Again, you see my little light there. And then this bathroom is the same bathroom as the other side, which means scary. Woo! I think we're gonna make this one tall as well. And this is gonna be all white marble with like a blue accent. Love this. This will be the floor. So that'll be the spooky bathroom or the beautiful bathroom when I'm done with it, it's spooky now. And then this will be the bedroom. So how are we all gonna sleep in here? I actually have laid this out perfectly that my bed will be here. This is the perfect spot for a little French day bed for Clara. And then out here, we will have a sleeper sofa that will sleep two people. So Chloe can sleep there. Chloe will probably wanna sleep in here cause she'll think it's haunted. Clara probably will sleep out here even more. But it's tiny, the owner suite. But honestly, when you're in New Orleans, you don't really spend a ton of time in the buildings. Like you're going out and about. So I think it'll be perfect. And I cannot wait to get started. Here is is the backyard. So scary. I'm not even gonna go in there. Back here, I don't wanna walk through the grass because honestly, every time I walk through the grass, I get eaten alive by mosquitoes. But there is back there a koi pond. Oh, you can see little lizards running. I think I'm gonna get rid of that koi pond because it's just like a mosquito attractor. But this backyard is getting a big overhaul. And so is this porch area, this deck. Well, it's not a deck, it's porch. But I'm gonna do some cool columns here, columns, like I'm gonna have this all repaved. Well, I'm actually gonna do bricks. And then obviously like new landscaping, but this bar, you can see I already bought railings. I'm gonna do something cool to this bar to the top of it. I was gonna rip it out, but I'm actually gonna keep it because believe it or not, this is so weird, but <laughs> Hi guy, hi, hi. I thought you were a spider. I like you better than a spider. But there is a washer and dryer under here. This was totally like when this place was a rental, they used this, I I'm having this all fixed up, but where'd that guy go? I don't like him. Blah. All right, so let's do a tour of this back. Changing this, obviously the colors. I'm gonna change the fan. I don't like that that's open down there. That's scary. Now I think the electricity is actually not on back here. It's on in the front, but when you walk in, this is gonna be the main living area for the rental or for saints and sinners. So this, I'm doing a lot of cool molding up there. Obviously the color. I think I'm gonna look for a new mantle, but I might just paint this one. I have to find out if that's original or not. And then this is one of the bedrooms. There is a ghost chair in here right now. Ah, but this is gonna be the Mardi Gras suite. So this will all be obviously changed, taken down. And then over here, I'm doing a little built-in vanity station, but you can see 12 foot ceilings. It smells weird in here too. Oh God, wait till you see the kitchen. Bah, this kitchen. Ugh. I'm gonna do this like as a beignet cafe, which I cannot wait for you to see how cute this kitchen is gonna be. And then there's another bedroom back here. Obviously, like I said, I don't have any lights right now. Maybe, maybe this will help. I'm afraid to touch anything right now. <laughs> so yeah, this will be a bedroom. This is actually going to be the magnolia room. Magnolia is a Southern flower, so you can't really see, but we have the big ceilings. This is all gonna be redone. I'm redoing the floors and then ugh, there's so much work. I do like this light. I might keep that and put that somewhere. Okay, this bathroom, bleh, this bathroom gives me the creeps. Um, I don't even think I can open this right now. This bathroom is beyond creepy. Ugh, that tub. All of this is getting ripped out. We're gonna raise the ceiling, do a vaulted ceiling, a cool chandelier. I have some really pretty tile work going in here. This bathroom's gonna be like pinks and golds with a beautiful chandelier. This will be the main part of the Something Borrowed Saints and Sinners Girls Getaway pad. And it's not gonna look anything like this once I'm done. So that's it. Ugh, lots and lots 
lots and lots of work to do, but I am super excited to do it. I cannot wait to get started. I am dying to just, just to see any progress because it's gonna be so fun to see the before and afters and you get to come on every step of the way. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what part you're most excited to see or tell me what room you think is the scariest right now. And I will see you back here next week. Bye.